Today's video is brought to us by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're like most gun owners who like to repair and upgrade your own firearms, well, why not take that passion and turn it into a career? SDI is a distance learning institute and all of the materials and tools are shipped directly to your door. They have classes on ballistics, gunsmithing, armorers courses, and even drone classes. You can get your certificate or your degree and take that step now. Check out the link down below and in the pinned comment, sdi.edu. And thank you to the Sonoran Desert Institute for making today's video possible. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. As you're watching this, I will actually be in a car driving to Florida to uh, do whatever it takes to help those who I can. Uh, so I am not sure what the internet uh, situation is going to be. So you may get the typical second video today. You might not. I'll do my best, uh, but if there's information, I'll get it out somehow. Which brings me to this video. On the screen is the press release by Joe Biden. This was released on uh, yesterday's, uh, actually, I was on the first. Uh, and this is his statement marking the five year anniversary of the Las Vegas shooting. And I'm going to put it on here because he says something that we should probably pay some attention to. Um, I'll get back to that in a minute. It says, five years ago, a concert became a killing field and our nation was once more shocked to our very core. For 10 terrifying minutes, a lone gunman fired more than 1,000 bullets into the crowd at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, taking the lives of 60 of our fellow Americans, wounding hundreds more, and leaving so many others scarred by the carnage they witnessed. This massacre remains the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. In the face of such horror, Nevadans showed what it meant to be hashtag Vegas strong. Concert goers risked their own lives to bring others to safety. Community members stood in line for hours to donate blood, while first responders worked swiftly to save lives. The city rallied together to raise money for medical costs and a memorial in honor of the victims. From the Nevada desert, we heard the same cry that we've heard in the aftermath of Sandy Hook, Charleston, Parkland, Uvalde, Buffalo, and too many neighborhoods to count. Do something. And my administration has been working tirelessly to heed that call. I've taken more executive action to curb gun violence than any president at this point in office, including cracking down on ghost guns and rogue gun dealers. This past summer, in the face of fierce lobbying by the National Rifle Association and the gun industry, the Senate confirmed Steve Dettelback on a bipartisan vote as the first permanent head of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives in more than seven years, where he's playing a leading role in getting illegal guns off of our streets. And after decades of gridlock in Congress, I signed into law the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, the first significant gun violence reduction legislation in nearly 30 years. But we're not stopping there. I am determined to seize this momentum and work with Congress to enact further common sense gun violence prevention legislation, including banning assault weapons and high capacity magazines, which have enabled shooters to slaughter so many innocents. We've done it before and we can do it again. The memories of the victims demanding nothing less. Jill and I mourn with all those who lost a piece of their soul on October 1st, 2017. May God bless those taken from us and comfort the loved ones of the fallen. And may we resolve to turn our heartbreak into action. So I wanted to put this out here because <clears throat> generally politicians, Joe Biden included, when they say things, they're saying it for a reason. And our neighbor is cranking Justin Bieber right now. I don't know if it's an attempt to overpower what I'm saying. Maybe they love gun control. I don't know. But Justin Bieber, come on. Come on, Georgia. Um, so he is telling you that he's going to try to keep pushing for an assault weapon ban, H.R. 1808. Keep an eye on it. I will. I hope you will as well. I'll let you know if there's any, any movement. I doubt, I know that the Senate doesn't want to touch it right now. I can, I can tell you that with 100% uh, certainty. They do not want to touch it right now, obviously, because the election is a couple of weeks away, the, uh, the midterms. But the key thing is, is, he said it right in his own statement, he has taken the most executive action on gun control than any other president in the history of the United States. What does that translate to, uh, my fellow Americans? It translates to unconstitutional action taken without lawmakers. So the president has done everything he can with his pen to force his alphabet agencies to become weaponized to take away our right. It wasn't a right that's given to us by those agencies or even this government. It's a right that they're supposed to protect and to ensure 
that it stays uninfringed. Um, but uh, I wanted to get you his information, his, his statement here, just to show you that he's still pushing on this AWB, the assault weapon ban, and this high capacity magazine ban thing, which is obviously a violation of Heller, McDonald, Bruin, and uh, the Second Amendment as a whole. Remember, text, history, tradition. Nowhere in that, uh, in the Constitution does it say the president can do what he wants. Nowhere in uh, any of our history since 1791 when the Second Amendment was adopted does it say that the president can just will away certain items or certain uh, accessories. So uh, just want to give you the uh, update. I, again, I'm on my way to Florida. If any of you are in Florida and you see me out there, uh, stop me and uh, I will do everything I can to help you if, if, if you need help. And um, don't forget... Blackout Coffee family is, uh, is the reason I'm going down. Thank you to everybody who has helped me uh, to, from gas to the car to stocking up with, uh, with some items for uh, the, the families there. But uh, that's what we're going down to do. And I'll keep you in the loop as long as there is uh, cell service and or internet. We'll see. Um, till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I will see you on the next one, y'all. Please be safe in everything you do. Tell your loved ones you love them because you never know when something goes wrong. And you never know when the neighbor's in a Blair Justin Bieber. <laughs> Let's take care. <laughs>